or even a 30, 40 car field event on an average. That's pretty much what we all run, right? Even our local races, anywhere from 30 to 40 cars, just say average, okay? What happens with that track when you run prep, when you don't do a burnout on the line? By the, by the second or third round, that prep is tacky on that surface, right? Okay, so you're rolling your car through all that, and it's pulling some of that up. It's putting it on the tire. you got to clean the tire off, guys. I recommend it every time. Yeah, exactly. So um, let's get into that. But brake clean is your friend um, just as much as... Next one, the Beetlejuice, okay? The Beetlejuice, if you don't have brake clean, Beetlejuice is your next best friend. They both work very well, okay? There is a difference though how they are used, okay? So this will clean the tire and in, in a sense, it doesn't strip it, okay? It will clean the tire, but it also will, will create an activation. So as the tire starts to break in, once you've cleaned that goo off of there and it looks, the tire is nice and shiny and it's clean and you're using a microfiber towel and I'm going to show you what's going to happen, that tire becomes sticky to where like the microfiber is sticking to the tire and that's why the microfiber needs to be, you know, kind of, it needs to be folded in a sense because you can see on this towel here, you see it's got perfectly four little like clover dice shapes on it because this gets folded up, you know, and some of you say, well, they're cheap, why don't you just get another towel? Well, you know, it, it washes out, you know, hand wash it, it comes out. It does have a tendency to get a little hard, but I, I'm just, I'm kind of weird like that, so I like to have the same towel because I've been using that same towel with that pair of tires. Does that make sense? It's not like I'm using this towel to go over there for those tires, this tire, I'm using the same one for the same tire. So whatever contents that have been from the surface to the tire is, is on this rag. Because I've noticed that if I go and I grab a clean microfiber towel to clean a different tire, it'll clean it differently. And not in a bad way, it just, it just looks different. And if you're not sure what I'm getting at, try it sometime and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so when it comes to the Beetlejuice cleaning it, this, in my opinion, strips it. Okay, and it strips it in a sense to where... It, it is cleaning the tire like 100%, but it's not cleaning it to the point where it's back to if it was factory, it's cleaning it to the point where it is like really conditioned, like it made it super, super soft. Um, it'll almost kind of give it like a, like a haze um, and it'll feel like it's greasy or oily. Um, that's because that is the, that's the chemical balance between the Gremlin goo and um, the, the Beetlejuice. So what you have to do in that sense, and this would be on another another part of this when Billy, or I'm sorry, Billy. Well, um, when Kelly is doing this, either Zimba, Billy, Kelly. Okay. So you will then clean that with Simple G. Okay. You guys, guys, know what I'm talking about? Simple G, green stuff, not goo, much darker. Okay. So you will then clean this tire with a microfiber cloth, a, a clean one, one that you you know and you're spraying it on there and wiping the tire off, that is if you're using the Beetlejuice combination to clean the tire. If you're going straight to the cuff and you're going straight to brake clean, I'm gonna show you right now what the brake clean does, okay? So once again, dirty tire, just made a pass. You can see it's kind of salty there. It's got some dust to it from the ground. That's, this is an actual tire that made a pass on a surface and got dirty after it had prep. So it almost looks clean, but it's not. It's, just, it's dirty because that, that, that prep is transferred to the asphalt, okay? So, microfiber, brake clean, spray a little bit. You don't have to spray it too crazy. You don't have to full blast it, barely squeeze that. Now, as you start cleaning this tire, clean it, spin a tire a little bit, and just hold the tire and kind of rub in a back and forth motion. I should be doing this the other way, but it's kind of hard to do that. Um, so you will see, I'm gonna show you now. If you look, you'll see the two surface, you'll see the surface that's now been cleaned. You can kind of see that. Let's do it this way. There's your surface that's dirty. You can see that see the transition there where it's clean and then it's dirty. See how I pulled that off there? Now, now it almost made it shiny again. Now the funny thing is, 
This tire is now sticky again. Unlike how you saw me touching the tire before, it, it had no stick to it whatsoever. So now the brake clean has reactivated what has soaked into the tire. See that? There you go again. See that? Shiny dirt. Okay, so let me finish cleaning this off real quick. And you won't get away with just spraying at one time and then trying to do the whole tire. It's going to take a couple sprays depending also on how, how well it's stuck to the tire. So I just spray a little bit in there, barely even spray it until it kind of just pedals out. Hold the tire and rub the tire, just like so. And you'll notice as you start rubbing, as the, as the carburetor cleaner, I'm sorry, the brake cleaner starts to dry, it's going to start like grabbing the microfiber, almost like it's got prep on it, and it's going to start pulling it and sticking to the tire. All you have to do is, is look at the tire, make sure you got everything off of there. If it starts getting too dry, add a little more brake cleaner to it so you kind of can start sliding it again. You'll notice, like, I'm, like it's doing it to me right now, is it's it's starting to web in my fingers where I'm holding, where I'm holding that tire. Okay, so now you see that that tire, that tire is clean. No dust on it anymore. You know, it may not be, it may have some some smudges from the microfiber, but that's okay. You just don't want any dirt on it. Okay. And this isn't really a long drawn out process guys, I'm really dragging this out so you guys can really see how this is working, okay? So now, tire's been cleaned. You've done both tires, you've cleaned them with your microfiber rag, and now you are ready to reprep again. Just like we did in the beginning of the video, you're gonna go right back and do the exact same thing Coat the tire till it gets nice and shiny. You get that you get that shininess across the tire to where it gets kind of dull. Once it gets dull, second coat, if you will. That's what I do. Two coats. Some guys just do the one. Once you've done that, let it dry. Add your second coat if you choose. Put your warmers on five, maybe ten minutes, depending on how fast they're getting hot, and go back through the the whole process again. Um, guys have asked how long should this last honestly it lasts a while if you are using it correctly um, I can I can get through probably I would I say I, I, I've tested a week straight daily um, probably with uh, anywhere from three to five passes within those days and this lasts me about that's, that's excessive so I want to say just about a week um, but it really depends on, on how much you are allowing to go onto the tire. It doesn't take a whole lot, guys. I mean, if you saw in the beginning of the video, I just barely even put anything on there. And then if there was any drips that were running around, I grabbed that. Um, it is a science to putting this on there to not only save the product so you can extend the life of it for yourself, but once you get a rhythm of doing it, it will, it will be a, a game changer for you, okay? So... Um, I don't want to steal Kelly's thunder, so he will be doing a video the same way I'm doing it here. It's going to be all him. I'm not going to be intruding on him, letting him do his thing. Um, if you guys have any questions, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting anything? Okay, so. Um, man, that's crazy. See, now, remember how I was touching that tire earlier and it was, it was dirty, right? And you saw me grabbing that tire and it was dirty, like it wouldn't stick to anything, right? I don't know if it'll stick to any of these. No, really. Anyways, yeah, there's no prep on it, but I mean, if you guys could feel this tire, I mean, it's, it's crazy, and you guys saw this tire with dirt on it. So that just shows you how the, the, the prep gets into the tire and it, it starts to condition the tire, Beetlejuice, Gremlin goo, it gets into the tire, okay? So, I will tell you this actually before I forget. Um, when you do get a brand new set of tires, whatever set of tires you're using, um, reactions are pretty known for it. That's the most common tire. Sometimes it will not get into the tire the first or second pass. So that is where breaking in the tire does kind of come into play. 
So that is where Billy's stuff, or gosh, I keep doing that, where Kelly's stuff comes into play as the conditioner because it gets in there in that tire and it opens up the pores of that tire. So if you are like almost any other racer out there that got us more than one pair of tires and you're getting ready to glue up a set of tires or you already have and you want to condition them, get the Beetlejuice, get the Gremlin Goo, condition the, the tires with the, the Beetlejuice and put them in a bag and let them set and let that stuff get in there and condition the tire. And then when you get them out, there is a process to cleaning them off so you can apply the Gremlin Goo. So um, if you already have both products and you do want to do that, I'll give you a little tip. Um, like I said, I don't want to steal Kelly's Thunder. If you've already done that or you're going to do it and you're going to bag up a set of tires after you've conditioned them, when you pull them out, clean them off with Simple Green. And in some instances, you don't have to do anything else after that. You can go make a pass and they should work, but sometimes it's not always the case. Um, Kelly swears by it. He's got his own little system and how he does that where he can make a tire work with just a Simple Green. Um, but I... I I had tried it that way, and it doesn't necessarily work for me, okay? So, and I'm not saying that in a, in a bad way by any means. I'm just being, I'm being 100% upfront with you guys. So, I, maybe it's just because I haven't mastered that conditioning part of it. I think that's really what it is, is, is the conditioning part. And, and Kelly swears by that, that conditioning attire is huge, and I, I support him 100% on that. So, um, again, if you've got a new set of tires, you know, you can get a break-in tool from AKA. They make a break-in tool. It's got a quarter-inch end on it. You can put it into a small drill screw it to your tire and you can take that tire and you can rub it on the asphalt rub it on some concrete until you take that that top little glaze off of it i have come to find out that that works for me with a new tire but again like i said in the very very beginning of the video i don't necessarily always do that i will get a set of tires out of the bag i'll clean them off a little bit glue them on do my balancing put goo on them and send it okay um balancing is huge some people will say that it's it's and not important to balance a tire, a brand new set of tires. Um, not necessarily. Um, I don't feel that way. I have taken tires and put them on the balancer and they are way out of balance brand new before they've even touched the pavement. And I will balance them and I will make about four or five passes on them and then I will bring them back and I will rebalance them with the balance that I put on it and they will be out of balance. And then I will pull the clay, rebalance them and it's a whole different card. It is important, in my opinion, to balance the tires because that is the harmonics of your car. If you've got a ton of vibration coming from the back end of your car, that is going to affect the rest of the chassis of the car. It's going to affect it. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. It's the same thing with big car racing. You're going to affect the harmonics of it. It's going to make the car unstable and different things can happen. So if you don't have a tire balancer, I recommend getting one. They don't have to be some crazy high dollar one. There, there are, you know, I think average $40, $50 to get one. I think it's more than fair, uh, but I do recommend that. So again, um, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us through the Gremlin Goo Facebook page. Um, send us a message. Um, you can also email us at gremlingoo at hotmail.com. Um, even if you've got a Beetlejuice question, you can you can message us there as well. Beetlejuice Stick It does have uh, its own page as well, which is Beetlejuice Stick It on Facebook. Um, there is no YouTube page for that yet, um, but there is a YouTube page for Gremlin Goo, and obviously Beetlejuice and Gremlin Goo is all going to be on that one page. Um, we do have some big announcements. Look at that. You see that? That's pretty cool stuff, huh? It's like a magnet. Look at that. <laughs> there it went. So, um, Kelly and I do have some big announcements to make. Um, we're not going to let the cat out of the bag yet, but there is some cool stuff coming down the line. Um, we do have a couple new products that are coming out as well. Um, they are not replacements by any means. They are just another type of product to work in different situations, different services, that kind of thing. So, again, Gremlin Goo, please go to the Gremlin Goo uh, YouTube page, subscribe, check out some of the videos that are on there. This video will be uploaded on there and it will be on the Gremlin Goo Facebook page as well. Um, by all means, definitely message us through there if you have any questions, send an email. Um, be sure to check out uh, Beetlejuice Stick It page as well. If you want to order any of the Beetlejuice, you can definitely go to the Beetlejuice Stick It page um, and get it from there. You can get Gremlin Goo itself, can be purchased on eBay or directly from the Facebook 
page. There is a shop portion in there. Um, the link that's in the shop page on Facebook, though, will take you to eBay. Um, we've only done that just because there's been some irregularities with the Facebook shop page. Um, so uh, we just kind of send everything over to eBay. We've created the packs over there so you can get the one pack, the two pack, you can get a three pack, dirty picture, three pack, and you can also purchase a four pack. Um, you can do the same thing with the Beetlejuice as well. We will have that up on um, the Gremlin Goo page if you want to purchase it directly there from the eBay um, as a one, a one pack, two pack, three pack, and a four pack. Um, and we will also have a mixed match pack, which uh, Kelly calls a drag pack. So basically you can get one of the Beetlejuice and one of the Gremlin Goo together. Um, you can purchase those from Kelly. Uh, we will probably have these up on the eBay page as well. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask us. Um, send emails, messages, and let us know. Um, we do ask though if you can refrain from messaging, messaging us directly because it does get very overwhelming. So if you do, you more than likely you will be directed to go to the Beetlejuice page or on the Gremlin View page um, or YouTube. Um, if you are looking to purchase product and you can't seem to navigate through there, um, through eBay, or you do not like to use eBay, um, you can message us through one of the two Facebook pages, send us a message that you'd like to purchase product, and then we can try to help you out that way as well. Try, but we will help you out that way. Um, again, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this stuff. Um, so again, race on. Uh, let's have fun. We're all in this together across the country. Um, appreciate everything that you guys have done for us. Uh, we're going to get some outro music going on here. Where did it go? Stand by. Stand by. See how this works? All right. So, that's my cue. Thank you, guys.